All right, so I want to show how to um, get a value after you difference. So I have this data frame here, DF, and let me just plot it. And I get a nice little data frame, and I get a nice little plot here, and we see that uh, definitely some seasonality here. Um, first, I want to use, I'm going to use an ARIMA model that automatically does the differencing for you. Um, so make an ARIMA model, and I want to put in sales and order. I'm going to put 110. So this is going to be an AR component, a differencing com component, and no MA component. Um, next, I'm going to fit my model. Model fit dot forecast. And I just want the first component, the first value. And let's let's take a look at this. And get an error. Um because I don't know how to spell forecast. So I get a value of 619. So now um, let me manually apply some differencing. So this one does differencing for you. So it difference with a lag of one and I get a value of 619. And now I'm gonna manually do the uh, differencing and see if I can get the same value. So let's take a first look at it. So I'm gonna apply a shift to it. DF sales dot shift. And let's take a look at it again. So I shifted uh, one. Uh, with differencing, you're going to take today's value and subtract it from yesterday. So I'm going to take the sales and subtract it from the shift. Um, diff equals DF sales minus DF shift. And let's plot it out again. Dot plot. So um, looks like the mean and the variance are roughly the same. I'm not going to do a, a test on it, but um, so I manually did some differencing on it. Uh, next, I want to up, up run my model again, um, and I want an ARIMA model on the differencing. This time I'm going to make the difference in component a zero. So um, these models should give me the same results because I differenced, I apply, uh, where did it go? I apply differencing right here. Um, and this time I manually applied the differencing. So should give me the same results. Um, equal model diff dot fit display equals zero y hat equals model fit diff dot forecast and i got an error um, array must not contain infinities or missing values let's take a look at my data frame and the first value is missing because um, the first day there was no previous day. So I need to drop that, df.drop. Voice equals true. Oh, I want df.drop in a. Yeah, no error this time. Yeah, and still get an error. Yeah, I still can't spell forecast. Where is that? Forecast. Um, and I should do y hat diff on here. Y hat diff. So I get a value of negative. Um, um, 27. And um, if we look at our original y hat, if I can spell, 
and I need to rerun it because I ran up, ran it again. Um, let's run everything from the start. Run all above. So 619. Um, and run that. So with the ARIMA model with a 10110, I get a value of 619. With the one that I manually, the 100, the one that I manually different, I get a value of negative 27. If we remember with differencing, it is taking um, today's value minus yesterday's value equals the difference. Um, so right now I have the difference. Um, to get, um, um, I want to get today's value, I want to do, um, do some just algebra here. Today's value equals the difference plus yesterday's value. So in this case, I have y hat difference, or let's look at our df first. Um, and I need to rerun everything up here as well, because I ran everything. And we'll drop it. So let's do df dot head again. And I want yesterday's value for the last one. So that is going to be that 646.9. So if I do um, y hat difference, and I'm really struggling with my typing today. It is 20 is negative 27. So if I grab that, it's that. And then if I add yesterday's value, which is 646.9, I get 619.13, which is the exact same value or really close to it. Um, so yeah, so that's how you would want to do it. So you um, typically you would you just use, you'd let the Ariba model do it for you. Um, but if you difference it yourself, you can uh, manually take it back like this. So uh, hopefully that was useful and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.